All right, Obelisk. End them with your fist. Boom. Obelisk, fist of fate. Boom. What's going on, guys? Red Gaming here. And today, this is going to be my second port to my three-port Egyptian God card series. Last time, I did the Winged Dragon of Raw deck, and I'll have that in the description of this video. And today, we're doing Obelisk the Tormentor deck build. So, I'm going to be going through this deck card by card, telling you what's in it. And I'll have the uh, deck list in the description of this video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So, first off, we have three copies of Obelisk the Tormentor. Three copies of Ash Blossom, three Reactor Slime, three of the Winged Dragon overall Sphere Mode, two Guardian Slimes, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Monster Reborn, and then one Terraforming. We have three Pot of Duality, three Card of Soul, three Pot of Prosperity, two Mound of the Bound Creation, three Fist of Fate, three Soul Crossings, three Ice Dragon's Prism, and then three metal reflex slimes to end the uh, main deck. Now for the extra deck, I have three of the Egyptian God slimes, one Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. Uh, which one's this one? This one's uh, if we go through, I always forget the names of the Rail Cannon. Oh, this is Gust Gustav Max. Uh, this is the Supernatural Robot. We got Sky Plays Gang Gangardai. Excuse me. We have number 35. We have Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. I think, which one's this one? This one's the Juggernaut. Um, I always forget the names of these. My apologies. Oh, Levy. We have Nightmare Phoenix. We have Mascarena. Nightmare Unicorn. And then Access Code Talker. So, I'm going to be going through some gameplay after this of uh, me using this deck. And I'm just going to note now that I originally did have, for my gameplay, I had three copies of Nibiru in the deck. So you might see it pop up, but I elected to take it out after because it made the deck way too bricky. So I, I took those out, replaced it with Guardian Slime, and I think it was something else I replaced it with. So you might see these in my hand during some of the gameplay, but I took it out because I just I felt that it was it made my deck way too bricky. So, but yeah. I'm going to get through some gameplay here to show you how the deck works, and let's get right to it. All right. This is the first duel I'm going to go through. And uh, this one's up against a virtual world deck. <clears throat> and my opponent actually has a really good first turn. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because it's kind of long. He actually does end up bringing out True King in his first turn. Yada yada, doing his virtual world stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yaroshi, yada yada. Brings out Shen Shen. And uses this to change his to a level 9 so he can bring out Brew King. And then he's going to end his turn there. So I got to use Terraforming to bring out the Mound Bound Creator, which is the field spell card for the Egyptian God cards. Then I'm going to use Card of the Soul. Card of the Soul allows you to add a monster whose attack and defense equal your life points. So since it's 4,000, 4,000, that's why I can bring him up. I use Pot of Prosperity. I believe I grab uh, Soul Crossing here. <coughs> yeah, so I'll grab Soul Crossing. I'm going to set Soul Crossing. And then some of my reactor slime, put up my field spell, and my turn. He's going to be doing his thing. He's going to bring back Shen Shen by um, banishing two other virtual world monsters. And after he summons him out, I use Soul Crossing. And if you don't know, Soul Crossing allows you to use monsters on both sides of the field to summon a divine beast monster. So I use his true king. And is a uh, Shen Shen plus my reactor slime to bring out my Obelisk the Tormentor here. He's gonna try to use his effect, which he does. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter because I still grab his true king, summon up my Obelisk. Uh, I think he brings Shen Shen back. 
He does, so he has Shen Shen back. Comes another monster. And then he quits because he knows he can't beat my Obelisk the Tormentor. Nobody can beat Obelisk the Tormentor. So yeah, so then he quits there. Uh, I'm gonna go through another replay for you guys. That's just the first one. So uh, yeah, let's get right to that. <clears throat> All right, time for the second replay. Believe this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be up against a Dark Magician deck. So I'm gonna use Pot of Duality. I grab Fist of Fate, summon my Reactor Slime, and set Ice Dragon's Prison. Uh, Magician's Rod. He's gonna grab a card. Dark Magical Circle. Those are all his Dark Magician shenanigans. <clears throat> Then he brings out his Dark Magician. He gets rid of my face down card. And then he brings out Swords of Revealing Light. I didn't think anybody plays Swords of Revealing Light, but that was just odd to me, but okay. Maybe he's just doing his best uh, Yugi impression. So he tries to attack my Reactor Slime. He's a special ability where I can grab Metal Reflect Slime and put a face down. He tries to attack again, use Metal Reflect Slime. Put it out in defense mode. Then he uses his fusion card to bring out the Dark Magicians. And I believe he ends his turn there. So this is when I'm going to bring out Obelisk now. So I use... And then again, I have Nibiru in my hand. I got rid of it because I, I just didn't want it. It was making my deck too bricky with with already Obelisk and Roth Spear mode. I, I had to get rid of Nibiru, so just ignore that in my hand. Anyways, so... I bring out Egyptian God Slime. Egyptian God Slime allows me to summon it by using a level 10 Aqua Monster, which is what my Metal Reflect Slime was. And then I can summon Obelisk from there. And then I use Fist of Fate. Fist of Fate allows me to, de to destroy one monster on the field. And after I do that, I can destroy all his spell and trap cards. So there goes Swords Revealing Light. <coughs> and then I attack his Dark Magician. 1500. And turn there. And he doesn't do anything because he doesn't draw anything he needs. Next, I'm going to use my Ice Dragon's Prison to grab his dark, uh, the Dark Magicians from his graveyard. And I'm going to use his own monster against him to beat him. It's an Obelisk of Tormentor Fist. So, yeah. That's the second replay. I'm going to do one last replay for this video to end it off. All right. So this last, uh, the last, this last replay is going to be up against a uh, Sky Striker deck. This one's kind of funny, actually. So he uses the Mecha and then he uses his reinforcement of the army. I use Ash Blossom immediately. I'm assuming in his hand right now he has no monsters. Because right after this, I'm, yeah, he ends his turn. So then I go. I use Harpy's Feather Duster to get rid of his uh, spell card. Summon my Reactor Slime. Bring out two tokens. And then I attack his... Oh, no, no. I use, I use Card of Soul first. And then he, he actually ashes my Card of Soul so I can't get Obelisk, which sucks. But it's fine. Especially since I have Soul Crossing in my hand. But that's all right. So then I attack him with my... Uh, Reactor Slime and do a deadly 500 damage there. Um, and then so it's his turn. I, I attacked because I assumed he would have a monster again to go, but he doesn't draw anything. So then I'm up again, so I'm like, okay. And I get another... So I use Reactor Slime's ability again. He uses Maxi, which doesn't matter because I don't really summon anything. Except two more tokens, so... So I get two more tokens here. And then I use the battle phase to bring to put a um, metal reflect slime down. He uses evenly match a dump to get rid of it immediately. So I was like, crap. I just wanted to bring out my obelisk. So he has another turn. Uses upstart goblin. Again, doesn't draw any monsters. 
So I'm up again. <laughs> so then uh, now I'm just gonna like, well, I got all these tokens out here. I might as well use them as link material. I bring up Masquerade, then I bring out Nightmare Unicorn, and then I bring out Link Spider, and then finally I want to bring out Access Code Talker. But since I have Monster Reborn in my hand, I use Link Spider for his best ability, and then I bring out uh, Nightmare Unicorn again. And I'm just gonna—I was trying to get rid of him, but then he uses Effect Veiler to get rid of my effect for access code talker. So luckily I did use Link Spider for it. But I still got Nightmare Unicorn. And I attack him directly to end my turn. And he uses his maneuver, new maneuver, excuse me, gets rid of my access code. Again, has no monsters. We are in turn eight. It hasn't drawn a monster yet. I use card of soul. But I can't use it because I forgot I have 9,000 life points. I completely forgot I gained 1,000 life points from um, Upstart Goblin. So he's up and this is hilarious. He uses his Sky Striker Mobilize. I Ash Blossom it again. And he's going to quit right here. <laughs> And that's it for him. So I just use this last replay to show that you don't necessarily have to bring an obelisk in this deck. You can, I have different op other options like my link monsters and I have a few XCs monsters too. So that's going to be the final uh, replay f for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. And always thank you so much for watching and yeah, see ya.